Among those killed in the mass shooting in Dayton, the shooter's own younger sister. And police say that we may never know if Connor Betts, Betts meant to kill his 22-year-old sibling, Megan. They say he drove her to the Oregon district and then carried out the rampage. News 5's Amanda Van Allen spoke with one of Megan's friends who also dated Connor Betts. She gives us a look into the signs something like this might happen. I go through cycles where like I cry and then I'm calm and then I can talk and then I cry. Um, I apologize. Please don't apologize. <laughs> it's just really hard because we were friends and you think you know somebody. Lindsay Dahl says she went to high school and college with Megan Betts. She was all over the place in a good way. <laughs> she was always working so hard and really active. And she was also friends with Megan's brother, Connor Betts. I actually knew him pretty well. We were friends. Um, at one point, I was in a relationship with him as well. I didn't get the bad side of him. I got a relatively good side of him. But Dahl says many of her friends did not share that same experience. How he acted in high school and his behaviors, people were afraid of him. People, you know, knew that he wasn't quite right. Police say Connor Betts opened fire early Sunday morning in the Oregon district in Dayton. He killed nine people and injured dozens of others. One of the victims was his own sister. I heard, you know, about the shooter and his sister, and I didn't even make the connection until I saw her name on that list, and I just could not. I couldn't even fathom that that was actually her. A couple dozen broken hearted mourners gathered at the high school where Dahl met Megan and Connor. Dahl says although it's hard to cope with what Connor did, she believes it could have all been prevented. He made other students scared and uncomfortable. He was a very, very more than troubled kid. He was a very disturbed kid and he needed help and they just kept brushing his issues under the rug and a detention here, a suspension there. It just wasn't enough. I feel like more should have been done for him. Dahl says she hasn't stopped crying since she heard of Megan's passing at the hands of her brother. But what's giving her comfort is the impact she left on so many. She was an absolute delight to be around. And I'm really lucky that I've had a chance to know her for the short time that I knew her. I wish it would have been longer. Amanda Bay Allen, News 5.